Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, and thank you all for being here. My special thanks to Mr. Vargas. As you may know, I've been a longtime advocate of the DREAM Act, both as State Attorney General and now as a United States Senator. In fact, I try to go to the floor every week when I can to, in effect, highlight a story like yours of a dreamer contributing and giving back to this country in very, very material and impressive ways. And you have done so. And by to today's appearance, you've given us a new dreamer to call a model for why we should pass this act and expedite the earned citizenship status for young people brought to this country or coming to this country at a young age and then being educated, working, contributing, serving in our military. Thank you for, for being here today. Senator Blumenthal, uh, any further questions? Yes. Uh, just a couple of questions. Uh, Ms. Vaughn, I want to make sure that I understand your position, uh, which emphasizes really the importance of enforcement. As a law enforcer, I am certainly completely in agreement, but I think the President and the bipartisan group working here in the Senate also contemplate stronger enforcement. In fact, the, the plan under consideration here, the bipartisan plan, would actually condition earned citizenship on some certification that there is stronger enforcement at the borders. Right. But I gather you would still oppose the path to earned citizenship uh, for, for various reasons, not the least of which is you're concerned about unskilled workers filling jobs that otherwise would be filled by American citizens. And I wonder what you would do about the 11 million undocumented people who are within our borders right now. Uh, well, I think it's important um, for the public to be able to support the proposals that Congress is going to be debating. And I think for that to happen, the public has expressed, at least through the polling data I've seen, that they want to see a sustained commitment to enforcement before we make a decision on what to do so your, with... Your objection is one of timing, then? Well, that's part words, of it. If the polling data showed that 90 percent, I mean, or is your argument about the politics of this problem, or is it about the substance? If the president could use his bully pulpit to convince the public, beginning with the State of the Union last night, that a pathway to earn citizenship is really necessary, you go along with it then? The pathway itself is not necessarily the issue. Um, I think the politics are a problem because of the fact that there hasn't been enough substance in the way of enforcement to convince people that we're not going to be in the same situation 10, 20 years down the road. First of all, I think to characterize it as amnesty would be rejected by many of us who support it. Uh, the, the idea of earning citizenship by paying back taxes, paying a penalty, learning English, going to the back of the line, uh, and in the case of uh, the Dreamers, literally earning it by serving this nation in its United States military, I think is uh, inaccurate. But I, I, I really do believe that we are at a moment, a historic moment, when a big deal, and immigration reform is a big deal, would be accepted by the public. And I think uh, would be in, inspiring to the public because we are a nation of immigrants. We all know it. We all feel it in our gut. We all have pictures on our walls of people who came here because this nation has been a beacon for them, not just the skilled who come here with H-1B visas, but also, uh, you know, the folks in Connecticut who build our railroads, uh, whose children now are running major corporations. Uh, I, I just differ with you strongly on the politics of this issue, and I think your argument really is grounded in a very pessimistic view of what the American public will support. So I thank you for your, your very, very constructive and informative testimony, and uh, hope that, that we are in a different time in terms of where public opinion is. Thank you.